Okay, we're going to hook up the charge controller today to the solar panels. First thing we're going to do is hook up the battery side. Uh, there's several warnings in the paperwork says make sure and have that hooked up before you hook the panels up. So I found a good place to mount it. I moved my power inverter. We'll remount it after we're done here. Needed six inches uh, ventilation for the top. Got that now. Got my uh, fuse holder for the power inverter and I'm going to run the positive here but the first thing we're after is negative. So I hooked it up. It's where the other battery will be hooked up. So I got it hooked in here for now. I left it long. I can trim it when I got everything done. I've always used these automotive style, homeowner style strippers and crimpers. Uh, it says it goes down to 10, but that's for solid wire. And of course we are dealing with stranded wire. And the tray cable wires are eight stranded. So I got a new set of wire strippers out of the deal. wound up using the number six that must be for solid wire because the eight was too tight. Making sure that the insulation isn't pinched and we're making good contact. And that's what we did. She's not pulling out. Just made the connection from the number eight tray cable. I'm going up and around and we'll make an end on, on the 50 amp breaker and then up into the bottom. My tray cable, I'm getting awful lucky. Looks like I'm doing the battery connection both positive and negative with under 10 feet. It's looking more like I'm doing it with about 5 feet. So now I'll make the other cable from the circuit breaker to the charge controller. Got the power hooked up, fire up the circuit breaker, and so it'll charge going to here this positive battery lead. And the negative side comes out of the charge controller and down through the same hole as the negative for the power inverter. Hooking up there. Let's get those solar panels hooked up. That's the vent pipe right there. And I got the wires 
But in there, I needed to drill that hole to get the get fish through. Have some more holes drilled right there. Wire pulled down to the basement with the water pipes. I have the panels tilted up so I can do the hookups. We are going to hook them up series parallel. Just snap together like that. We're going to use the adapters, wire branches, whatever you want to call them, and do a series parallel. So we're going to hook these two panels together and those two panels together and then run them downstairs so we're not running such high voltage and the charge controller will run more efficiently. We'll look at it when we're done. Gonna make a jumper cable, solar. One end's got a female end. I gotta put a male on the other. These little tabs snap in. You'll be able to hear it. Snap. Okay. Here's the seal, it's in tight. And now we're gonna use these really nice tools. Well, I can get her hand tight anyway. Okay. If it was bigger wire, you'd use this wrench this way. Seems I had a camera malfunction or a operator malfunction and I missed the whole hooking up the solar panels. So I'm going to backtrack here a little. The wires from the panels ran, followed the vent pipe from the roof down all the way to the basement here. And while I was at it I ran a second set. Everyone I see doing this winds up with more solar than they anticipated they needed, so I got room. So I ran the positive to a fuse block and 
then up into the charge controller. The negative, of course, I ran it down, follow it around here. The uh, also in retrospect, I wished I'd uh, just used a fuse holder such as this. It's 10 gauge wire, cheap as chips. It'd have been just as effective as this fuse block. I know I can get these into up to 30 amps, possibly bigger, but I don't. I, I don't know that. But 30 amps would probably have been enough. I made all the connections and I'm gonna, before I put the fuse in from the solar panels, I am going to plug in the information cord and, and look at the battery information. And then I'll do the final hookup. We're up and running. Uh, looks and looking good. I have the panels tilted away from the sun like I I didn't want a whole lot of power on it, but I didn't want to go through the trouble of covering them and letting the wind blow them off. I don't think my data cord is going to be long enough. It came with a six footer. I'm going to need at least 12 foot. So I'll buy or make a data cord for the next video. Come back, I'll tidy everything up and install this uh, MT5 meter up in the trailer somewhere handy. Thanks for watching.